Oh, my queen. You know you've hit rock bottom when even drag is a drag. Are you? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing in my hallucination? I'm not in your hallucination. You're in my dream. You're wearing makeup. Well, so are you. But you're a man. <gasps> oh! oh, the hands and feet give it away. There must be some mistake here. I don't recognize you. You're not. Are you my some sort of imaginary friend? No. Aren't you too old to have imaginary friends? I have emotional problems. I took too many pills. Why are you wearing makeup? I was in the process of applying the face in order to make myself feel better. I swiped the new fall colors at the Clinique counter at Macy's. You stole these? Well, I was out of cash. It was an emotional emergency. <sighs> Joe will be so angry. I promised him no more pills. These pills you keep alluding to? Valium. I take Valium. Lots of Valium. <laughs> and you're dancing just as fast as you can. I'm not addicted. I don't believe in addiction. And I never... Well, I never drink, and I never take drugs. Oh, well, smell you, Nancy Drew. Except Valium. Except Valium, and we fistfuls. It's terrible. Mormons aren't supposed to be addicted to anything. I'm a Mormon. I'm a homosexual. Oh, in my church, we don't believe in homosexuals. In my church, we don't believe in Mormons. What church do you? Oh, <laughs> I get it. I don't understand this. If I didn't ever see you before, and I don't think I did, then I don't think you should be here in this hallucination. Because in my experience, the mind, which is where hallucinations come from, shouldn't be able to make up anything that wasn't there to start with, that didn't enter it from experience, from the real world. Imagination can't create anything new, can it? It only recycles bits and pieces from the world and reassembles them into visions. Am I making sense right now? Given the circumstances, yes. So when we think we've escaped the unbearable ordinariness and, well, untruthfulness of our lives, it's really only the same old ordinariness and falseness rearranged into the appearance of novelty and truth. Nothing unknown is knowable. Don't you think that's depressing? The limitations of the imagination. Yes. It's something you learn after your second theme party. It's all been done before. The world. Finite. Terribly. Terribly. Well, this is the most depressing hallucination I've ever had. Apologies. I do try to be amusing. Oh, well, don't apologize. You, I can't expect someone who's really sick to entertain me. How on earth did you know? Oh, that happens. This is the very threshold of revelation sometimes. You can see things. How sick you are. Do you see anything about me? Yes. What? You are amazingly unhappy. Oh, big deal. You meet a Valium addict and you figure out she's unhappy? That doesn't count. Of course I... Something else. Something surprising. Something surprising? Yes. Your husband is a homo. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Really? Threshold of revelation. Well, I don't like your revelations. I, I don't think you intuit well at all. Joe is a very normal man. He... Oh, God, he... Oh, God. Do homos take, like, lots of long walks? <laughs> yes, we do. And stretch pants with lavender quaffs. Up and down the avenues of Sodom we walk, doomed, doomed. <laughs> I just looked at you and there was a... A sort of blue streak of recognition. Yes. Like you knew me incredibly well. Yes. Yes. I have to go now. Get back. Something just fell apart. Oh God, I feel so sad. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I usually say screw the truth, but mostly the truth screws you. I see something else about you. Oh? Deep inside of you, there's a part of you, the most inner part, entirely free of disease. I can see that. <laughs> that isn't true. Threshold of revelation.
Home. People come and go so quickly here. <laughs>